In this video, I will let you know how to add Square Appointments to the website let's get into it. Square Appointments is a cloud-based appointment management solution that enables professionals to manage bookings and appointments, generate leads, and accept payments. The solution suits the needs of retailers of all sizes in a variety of service industries. Here I am on the dashboard of the Square. On the left side, various options will be shown. I will open the appointment option from here. On the left side, you will see other various options. I will open the calendar and here you can see I have already created an appointment. The other option is a waitlist. When you tap it you will find there is no waitlist here right now. The next option is online booking. If you tap it you will get some other sub options here. Now the option is services. When you click on it, it will take a while to open. Here you can see I have created a service already. And you will get some other options on the left side. Now go back to the main page. Another option is staff next to services. Simply tap on it and have a look. Further here are the settings options. When you tap it other options will be shown. Like calendar and booking, payments and cancellation, and many more. You can edit your availability time from here. You can edit the date from here. This is the schedule for the whole week. You can edit it and add a time that is much more suitable to your schedule. You also can add your availability time at other times of the day from here. If you want to do that. Otherwise, it's not compulsory. You can limit the timing of any day like this. From here you can see your recurring schedule. You can choose it again. When you are satisfied with the timing simply tap on save. Now let's have a look at how to create an appointment. Click on the create button from the corner. Once you have done it, a page like this will appear. Add here the event type, then client information, like the name of your client, email address, and phone number. You can edit your data and the timing of appointments from here. Add an appointment note here if you want to. Now add services here because you need appointments to provide any services. If you don't provide any service you don't need to add any appointment. So let's create a service. I am going to choose consultation and duration of your appointment and then the amount. A client booking notification will appear here. I am going to skip it right now. Add your item here, whether it's regular or black. You can add extra time from here. Save it once you choose it. Again notification pop-up will appear. Choose the option of your choice. I am going to choose don't send and then do it. It's saved now. Just scroll down and see. It will take some time to appear. Till then I am going to tap on the waitlist. To add any waitlist tap add request from the corner. You just need to add some information here and then save. Your waitlist will be created. For now, I'm going to skip it. Now just have a look at other options such as online booking, settings, channels, and advanced widgets. Now have a detailed look at the channels. You can see the features simply by scrolling down. Like, you can add your booking flow to the existing site. For this purpose tap on Get Started. Now get the URL from here. A pop-up will appear. Where you have to add your booking type. You get the URL for the below. Simply copy that URL. You add a booking button here. For this tap on the Create button. And then click on the book now. Choose the color combination and then tap done. You also can get an embed code from here. Click on get embed code. Then copy that embedded code. Then go to the dashboard of the WordPress website. Now I am going to add a new page to embed code. Then select the pages option from the given variety of options. Then simply tap add new. You can add the title of the appointment.
Below that title, you can embed the copied code. Simply tap on the plus icon to open a block. I will select the code block from here. After that, you will get different options to add code here just below the title. From the three dots, you will get the option to embed this code in different forms. But I am going to choose the HTML form. And then I will paste this here. And then tap the update option. It will be updated after a while. Now I am going to the main page. Just to see whether it worked or not. Here I will refresh it from the upper bar. I will take a few seconds to refresh. It's done now. You can see. That is all about how to add square appointments to the website. I hope you learned something from this video. If you have any question don't hesitate comment down below. And thank you for watching.